Hello, everyone. So, now that we're actually doing the fighting in my second playthrough of Civil War, I am about to kill all the Star folks. Haha. <laughs> the Imperial Legion looks so cool in that new armor. Like, they look three times better. Like, the idea is that the Stormcloaks have the weapons and Imperials have the armor. Now the Imperials have a better chance because they actually have armor. <laughs> but then again, the Stormcloaks also have a better chance because they have giants. Not in this fight. So, General Tellius, Hadvar, and rarely ever Legate Rika use the Imperial Knight Armor, which is really cool. I would wear it, but I'm the Jarl of Iverstead. So, you know, duty to my people, and also the Jarl of Iverstead Armor is stronger. Let's not jump to conclusions. So, I will do my duty to the Legion and kill all the Stormcloaks. So, you know, just tell me if you guys want me to change anything. Take off some mods, but not my Jarl of Iverset mod, because I won't. <laughs> so, in my failed sneak attempt, I will be supplying around two to three Falcon S soldiers to help the battles a bit. Now, this is once again from the Jarl of Iverstead mod. They are basically my own guard. Because if the Jarl fights, shouldn't his men fight? Makes no sense. But one or two soldiers really change something. Unless if you have a Dragonborn, that might change something. But, yeah, so... Be careful, men. We just keep on moving. And if you guys want, I can make a different video in the future uh, about the Jarl of Iverstead mod. Um, I am all open arms. Like, this is my favorite character. He's a Breton, so, you know, makes more sense if I'm a foreigner joining the Legion. Yeah. But if you guys want to, I can make a new character and start off that, that quest again. again. Like and the main years. quest line is kind of now. doomed the for me because I used a glitch, well, not Bone glitch, Wars. a console command to give me uh, uh, the unrelenting force can. shout, so I really got past the graybeards until I used um, console commands to get past that. And What's now at season's on the ending, I'm trying to talk to um, Amir, I believe his name is, or Ongear. And he's. He just keeps on saying, Master Wolfgar will now teach you the third word of unrelenting force. So, that's really annoying. I skipped that quest. Well, not seasoned on ending. I skipped uh, the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Um, and I'm at Seasons Unending right now, but nothing is working. And this must be the Hall of Stories. Too bad we but, can't well, read these carvings. You know, Who knows not everything works out in the from. end. One thing at a time, so, so pick up the 70 call claw. Um, look at it. Look at it. There we go. And that is a wolf, a butterfly, and a dragon. We're searching for the crown. Hmm, what is that? Some kind of stone claw? I wonder what it's used for. So, Good job. I focus mainly on the war for most of my right, videos. Then I'll put in other things. Out. Oh, and if you're a big war fan in this game, get war zones like there's been over a hundred videos about it I am serious it's great I mean you might need some high resolution I like but I wouldn't recommend um, the open cities of Skyrim and especially for this quest line 
because all the lag and stuff and it might not work with the scripts for the civil war overhaul because the idea is that you walk out of the gate and that's and that helps the game start up yeah and the first battle is extremely hard for the imperials to um, the battle for white run because the strong cloak scouts have visibility issues so they sneak right past you so if you move two centimeters forward Boom, there's one that spawns right behind you and pulls the lever. And once that drawbridge goes down, the city is theirs. And then you have to go and defend another one. I'm not too scared if I lose White Run, but Belgruff is my buddy. And White R and White Run is a trading partner with Iverstead, so it makes more sense. You guys probably are so confused about the Iverstead thing, but it it's great, guys. It it's just great. And this guy over here, I am just going to use right now. Oh no, he's death lord. Now, allow me to take that jagged crown. And I also have that, um, lots more perks mod. Uh, here, I'll show you it now. So, you know, more skills, more per perks. All good. I try my best not to use too many console commands. When I'm not playing, I use a trillion of them. But, you know, I try not to cheat for you guys. You know, you guys probably like me playing normal, not cheating. And I really hope that you guys stay tuned. Um, my voice might be a bit weird now, but it will be better in the future. I, I promise. It's just a really bad mic. But don't just blame it on the mic. It's a bit my fault, too. So, with Usegrav done, all that I gotta do now is tick Ulfric off and try not to get killed and win help. But until then... Goodbye. Well, not yet. Actually, I am going to go to talk to General Tullius. And then I'll say goodbye. A really, really long time. And I just thought that my game froze there, but it didn't. Which kind of scared me. So, just in case my computer does freeze, I'm going to end the video here and now. Uh, that's a bad sign. Well, I'm signing out. See you guys later. Bye.